it's your boy Larry. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A Sports Talk. We give you live commentary on all our favorite sports teams. Right now, we got Elite Eight action in the NCAA. Duke versus North Carolina State. Wolfpack. ACC battle. Let's go, man. Duke lost to this team in the NCAA, um, excuse me, in the ACC tournament. That's almost, uh, uh, what, two weeks, three weeks ago? So, yeah, let's see if NC State can continue on this magical carpet ride. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Refresh that chat. There we go. Daniel, what's up, Daniel? How you doing? Welcome back to the stream, cuz. I see you. Let's shout out to you. What's going on with you, cuz? Appreciate you coming through. And this is the second game of our double hitter. Second game of our double hitter. Duke Blue Devils trying to go back. Yeah, this will be the first time they ever go. If they make it to the uh, Final Four, this will be the first time they went to the Final Four without Coach K. So, pretty big game for this new coach. All right, so these teams know each other intimately. Let's see if Duke, who's been playing great defense and hitting timely shots, can beat this Cinderella uh, team, man. Like, North Carolina State, Woodpack have been playing great basketball. The both of the DJ, DJ Burns and DJ Horn leading the team. Going to be interesting. All right, we are in... But they in Dallas, yep. Dallas, Texas, the South Asian was a South, not Southeast, it's South Regional. Uh, let me go ahead and put this up right now. Purdue, Big Edie, Big Zach Edie with 40 points dominant. Back to back, Naismith winner. Man, I just refuse to believe that there's no spot for him in the NBA, man. No, I know the league has moved away from those big prodding um, centers. I personally like Klinglin, um on Connecticut more than him because he's a little bit shorter. He's 7'2", Edie's uh, 7'4", but he's a little bit more athletic, and his defensive pressure is much better. I like him as a defender. He kind of reminds me of Rudy. You know what I'm saying? Rudy Gobert. So I would definitely love to get him. And, hey, there go the minority owner. Of the Atlanta Hawks, Grant Hill. What is he doing with the Hawks? Magnificent Mind Magic Man in the building. What up, fam? I see you as always. You know, he's going for Duke. He said Duke is his last hope, just like Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, let's put this over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure that's on mute. No, it is not. All right, guys. So who y'all got, man? <laughs> Six of Maine back in the building. What's going on? Six of Maine. What up, fam? I see you. Welcome back to the stream. All right, let's go. DJ Horn, McConnell, Marcel, uh, Derrera, and Burns versus Roach, McCain, Proctor, Mitchell, and Filipowski. All right, let's get it. What you gonna do about it? Now, this is, I mean, that three guard offense. We got 6 2, 6 2, 6 3. 
I mean, Proctor is 6'5", but he normally handled the ball. At least the games that I've seen, he's normally handling the ball. I'm about to tap this thing off. I appreciate them trying to start on time. It's only, what, six minutes past what it normally is. And the tap is won by Filipowski. All right, Duke with the ball. Duke with the ball. All right. Roach got the ball. Roach looking. McLean going through. Roach looking for a pick. He got it. Roach driving. Pull up mid-range upper. Switch. Good shot by Roach. Coming out at night. I'm coming in. All right, two to zip. Duke on top. All right, let's go around looking. Oh, go drive baseline. Okay, I see you. Pass it out. Big Burns with a mid-range jumper. Splash. Uh-oh. Go, big boy. Get him. Good shot. Oh, yeah. Let me get this up. Thank you, Magic. All right, Philip Housley got the ball. McClain coming around to pick. Throw it down. Oh, Mitchell was not ready for it. He said, if you go do that, throw an alley-oop. Yeah, that Vols game was uh, amazing, man. Shout out to CeeLo, man. He got like over uh, 1,500 viewers. It was crazy. I just came over to uh, with the Vols luck. I was watching the end of the game. I was like, I might as well uh, look at CeeLo. Great stream by him. Give it to Burns. Burns got the ball. Burns looking. Put up the mid-range jumper. Good. Right on Filipowski. Puts him in the chest. There you little, bro. Bang, bang. And you know it's a rivalry. Let's go. Mitchell got the ball. Give it up. Proctor got it. Proctor. Give it up to Filipowski. Filipowski looking. Spin move. Up and under. Great defense by Derrera. Missed it. All right. DJ Horn got it. DJ got Proctor on him. Go around the pit. DJ getting cut off by Mitchell. DJ tricky dribble. Pass it out to O'Connell. O'Connell give it to Burns. Burns going to work. Burns backing down Filipowski. Burns looking, baby hook, missed it. Good defense by Filipowski. All right, Roach got the ball. Roach looking to push it. He just carried, no call. Pull up three, missed it. Rebound, O'Connell. Good rebound by O'Connell. O'Connell looking to push. O'Connell in the center of the court. Give it up to DJ. DJ pull up mid-range jumper, missed it. Rebound by Proctor. All right, we starting to get it going. Michael Keep in the building. What up, fam? He's in NC State. We got two people going for NC State. And the Dukies, all right, McClain looking. Give the missile, give back to McClain, give back to Filipowski in the post against Burns, pump fake, going down there. What you doing, man? You ain't banging against him. Oh, good offensive rebound by Mitchell. Go up, drew the foul. Missed it, but going to the free throw line, shoot it too. All right. Six of Main said, uh, Cars Hoops looks and feels like the 90s, or excuse me, the 80s NBA being so physical. Yeah, it's been physical, this uh one for sure. It's been the rise of the seven-footers, man. Like, the bigs have dominated this, uh, this tournament. Good free throw. This is the tournament of the bigs. I think Edie going to get drafted now. 40 points, 16 rebounds. All right, pass it over in the corner. Pump fake. Oh, good defense by Mitchell. Way to slide your feet. Derea looking. Did he walk? Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't. They didn't call it. He walked. Great defense by Duke. Give up Derea. He driving, dunk it. Nope, but it. Shot clock violation. Great defense by the Duke Blue Devils. All right, it's four to four right now. Ha <laughs> ha. 
tractor trailer. You talk about uh big DJ uh Burns, DJ Burns Jr. Yeah, he taller than track. No, no, he about the same size. Track the trailer was like six nine, right? All right, O'Connell got it. Give it to Derrera. Give it back to O'Connell. Get over there to DJ Horn. Ooh, cross him up, but couldn't keep it dribble. Looking. All right, Roach with the pickup. Driving, spinning. Pull up mid range jumper. Switch. Oh, sucky, sucky. This shot. All right, they about to go at it. Much better offense than I saw the other day. Six to four. Mitchell got the ball. Mitchell looking. Give it to Proctor. Proctor driving on uh, O'Connell. Finger roll layup. Air ball. Looking for a foul. Didn't get it. McConnell, look at the push. Oh, DJ shoot a three, but he missed it. Derrera trying to get the rebound. Filipowski got it. Filipowski, give it up. McLean got it cross up. McLean, way to cut it off by the big man. Way to move your feet. All right, Proctor going around the pit. Look, he give it to Roach. Roach trying to get it in the uh, Filipowski. Mitchell, pull up mid-range jumper. Missed it. Good rebound by Derrera. All right, O'Connell got the ball. Oh, this fast pace. Let's go. Oh, big boy looking for it in the post. Mouse in the house. Oh, good front. All right, driving, laying it up. Off the rim, missed it. Filipowski with the rebound. DJ the dump truck. Hey, that's a big boy down there. That's a lot of load. What's up, three day I see you, fam. Welcome back to the stream. That sounded for you. All right, road driving. Oh, good steal by DJ Horn. DJ Horn got the ball. Oh, he's slowing up. Good defense by Parker. Give it to O'Connell. Give it to Big Burns. And Burns can pass, man. That's really underrated by him, man. He be out there diamond people up. Uh, that's an ill-advised Ill shot by DJ uh, Horn. All right, uh, McClain shoot the three. Bang, bang, bang. Don't let, don't let McClain start let shooting. Cut, cut. He can shoot. Let Even though he didn't show now. it in the last game. Let him <laughs> All right, seven to six. Duke versus North Carolina State. They know each other intimately. All right, O'Connell got the ball. O'Connell looking. Got McLean up on him. He just threw Filipowski out the way. Uh oh. Backing him down like a child. Yo, oh, what a move. Bang. Oh, but hit him with the shimmy. Huh. Burns cooking down there. He's like, he look looking at me, skull like he like, get this dude up off me. He's a baby, baby there. Wow, Mitchell, he ain't shooting. All right, but McLean will. McLean looking, driving, laying it up. Uh, foul by Burns. You don't need Burns to foul out. He said every time DJ Burns get the ball. He backs down. I can hear the backup sound. Boop, 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 boop. That's right. He ain't looking for an assist. Old school. Charles Barkley. You know what I'm saying? That's to back you down like a child. Like you ain't got nothing you can do against me. Girth versus skill. Get it up. But that, hey, man, that spin was like Jokic, right? He like hit him with the ha ha. Hit him with the ha ha. Hook. Hey, that was a nasty uh, post move right there. That was a nasty post move. And he only 6'9", too. So he got them uh, moves down there also. Magic Man said, let's go, Devils. All right, man. Thank all you guys coming through. Appreciate you, man. This is the second game of the double hitter. Oh, yeah. This is going to be much better than the last game we saw with Marquette and Duke. That was a... a Man, that, that was a struggle right there, bro. That game right there. Burns already got six points. He got six of that eight points. Filipowski ain't got nothing. Guess who dominating the matchup, just like in the ACC tournament? I think he got like 20-something on, um, on Filipowski, and that's why I was telling people, like, host fans was like, 
I want to draft Filipowski. Nah, bro. Nah, I'm not with Filipowski. Now, if you want to talk about like uh, where you want to talk about Klingon out of UConn, I really like Klingon out of UConn. And I think he'll fall to the Hawks. You know, at least I think he'll be there at 15 to 20. So we anywhere within there, but we make it a playoff. So we anywhere within that range, we can pick him up. Ideally, what will be perfect is we pick up Ware and pick up Kingdom. Now, if the Kongu don't work out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because Ware got the skills to be offensive that we need. But I don't know if he would actually get, you know what I'm saying, the touches. Because the kid is a number one. He's a potential number one. But we need somebody who to fill a role. The Hawks hope that a coach falls to them in the draft. You ain't never lied, Magic Man. Facts. Facts. Facts on facts on proof on facts. Could this be a 1993 magical run with legendary coach Jim Valvano for the Wolfpack? We'll see. Eight to seven right now. We'll pack on top. But yeah, the Hawks need a coach to fall to them. The coach literally won the game. Yo, Coach Quinn called timeouts like Doc Rivers should have called it to stop momentum. Doc didn't even call it. He was like, I know Coach Quinn to do it. <laughs> uh, back to the college game. Eight to eight right now. Good free throw by McLean. Second one up. And it's good. All right. Duke leading by one. DJ Horn got the ball. Big Burns going to the bench. And that's six out of eight points they done scored. All right. Pump fake. Get it down in the post. Middlebrook. Middlebrook. Throwing it up. Got foul. Got foul by Young. Magic Man said Coach Quinn was a Milwaukee six man last night. Facts. He did great last night. Yeah, I know he did. Yo, Klingland, look here, man. Klingland, I want that dude on the Hawks badly. That dude defensively remind me of Rudy Gobert, but he got offensive post moves. He's better than uh, Okongwu and Clint Capella right now. Defensively and offensively. I take them. I take them. Free throw up, free throw good. We don't need nobody who can cook because they can't, but so many people cook on this lineup. 9 to 9 right now, NC State tied up with Duke. Young got the ball. Young pass out to Proctor. Proctor looking. Proctor, cross up, give it out to McLean, get out the young, McLean, pull up the three, foul on the three-point shot, horrible jump out by Derrera, going to the free throw line, shooting three, all right, McLean is definitely a, a they say he's a lottery pick. Some people call it him uh, Devin Booker. I don't know about that. Only thing that reminds me of Devin Booker is, I mean, he can't shoot, but they light skin. That's it. He ain't no Devin Booker. Second free throw, good. Eleven to nine right now. Here come Burns. <coughs> he wasn't gonna sit for long. Excuse me. Hmm. 
you talking about Grimace, man? <laughs> All right, free throw good. Am I doing an Alabama versus UConn game? Uh, that's tomorrow, so... Hold up, is that tonight? Uh, I don't even know what time. If that game is on Monday, then no. I mean, it's next week. My bad. It's next week. Oh, good rebound. Uh, pass it out. O'Connell with the three. Missed it. All right. Pick up the rebound. Three-point shot. Missed it. Oh, that's right. It's next Saturday. What I'm thinking about, they got a whole week of pump and circumstance. My bad. All right, so if it's on Saturday, then yeah, most likely, uh, I got to look at the schedule. I got to look at the schedule. Depending on if uh, what game is what. If the Braves play, if the Hawks play, we'll see. We'll see. All right, man, it's 12 to 9 right now. Duke on top. Timeout. No, I got games already scheduled. They're just not put up on the schedule. So I got to make sure that the Hawks and the Braves, because the Hawks and Braves playing, I don't know. Depends. Okay, so Alabama won yesterday. They're in the Final Four. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now, I missed that game. I had to watch, uh, <laughs> what was that? Duke and uh, Marquette. Actually, no, we didn't do an NCAA game last night because Braves played and then the Hawks played. So, I didn't see anything except for uh, Atlanta Pro Sports yesterday. Yeah, that's the only thing about my bracket, man. I had UConn, right? I got UConn win the title. So. We'll see, Kimberly. We will see. But thank all you guys for coming through. Uh, this is the Dixon Way, all about the A-Sports Talk, where we give you live commentary of all our favorite sports teams. The Braves, the Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, even my wife Gators. We appreciate every last one of you guys coming through. Hope you guys enjoy the content. I don't think nobody beating Duke to be, I mean, um, I don't think anyone's beating um, UConn. They're the national champs and they're acting like it. Hold up, we'll see. I got ahead of myself. I will correct that. All right, it's 12 to 9 right now. Uh, back for commercial break. O'Connell, great pass. Middlebrook, lay it up. Got it blocked. All right, good defense by Duke. McLean got it. McLean, give it up to Proctor. Proctor, give it up to Roach. Roach looking for a pick. Got the switch that he wanted. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Roach driving, 
Get a Filipowski. He pulls up a three wide open. Missed it. All right, rebound by O'Connell. Pass it out. That was a walk. They didn't call it. Burns got the ball. Burns walking down on um, Filipowski. Oh, spin move. Put it up. Bang! Killed them. Good left hand hook on a baseline. Wow. Nice move. Oh, crossover by Rose. Rose driving, laying it up. Good defense by uh by Burns. All right. DJ Horn got the ball. DJ looking. Man, wait for Burns to get down there. And O'Connell was wide open. Uh, Magic Man, Burns is really skilled, bro. Hey, I mean, he is really skilled. Offensively. He's definitely skilled offensively. Defensively, nah, he can't move his feet uh, fast enough. But offensively, Burns can hoop. Spin move again, going, laying it up. Oh, he missed it that time. He was looking for the contact, but they ain't call it. That's a good move, but he got to finish it, though. So he can't dunk it like that. So normally a person busts that um, sideline, that baseline spin like that, that's usually a dunk, but Burns was like, ah, he on my hip. I can't elevate like that. All right, 12 to 11. Duke up by one. Looking. McLean shoot the three. Bang! Good shot. Uh-oh, don't let him start. Let him cook. I'm coming in. Let him cook now. Let him cook. 15 to 11. Looking. All right, Burns at the top spin. Filipowski at his mercy, man, to be honest. Pass it in, give it to Burns. Look, Florida game. Oh, it went in and all the way out. Wow, and Burns picked up a weak foul. Horrible foul by Burns running in. Out of control. Wow. That thing went all the way down and kicked out. Wow. Right, if you watch him play, man, he actually got skilled, though, Magic Man. I ain't gotta go to the bench though. We got two fouls. So this is in due favor. And they lead score is out. I mean, he got eight, he got eight points, and they got eleven points. Yeah, that was over the back. Yeah. Who's number two reaching in? All right, they're not um no, nah, they're not in the bonus, are they? I don't think so. I don't think they're in the bonus. O'Connell pass it up. Give it to DJ Horn. DJ Horn looking, dribbling, pass it out. Darrell got the ball, get back to Horn. Two man game. They got to find the offense somewhere. DJ Horn with a bank shot. Oh, my goodness. How he hit that three? Oh, my goodness. What an angle to hit that three. Fade away three out of the side pocket, and he bank shot it. What a crazy shot. He definitely didn't call glass on that. All right, Filipowski attacking now. Yeah, he got a man that's uh, smaller than him now. Way to attack by Filipowski. All right. Middlebrook got it. Middlebrook looking. Give it up on the curl. Give it to Middlebrook. And lose ball foul by Duke. Oh, split the defense, got tripped up. Another foul. All right, they probably in the bonus now. In the one-on-one. -on -one. Foul on Filipowski. Yep, 
17 to 14, Duke with a three-point lead. Pass it down, Middlebrook driving, laying it up, missed it. Pass it back out, Darrell going to shoot a three, missed it. All right, rebound. Rebound by Duke. Eight minutes and eight seconds on the clock. Duke taking their time. 17 to 14. All right, Roach got the ball. Roach driving around, looking, scooping, laying up good. Middlebrook, you got a show on that, man. You let that dude that drive down, finger roll right in your face. Didn't even jump. <laughs> yep, good layup by Roach. O'Connell, bounce pass, give it to Middlebrook. He got caught up. Give it up to Durrell. Durrell layering up. Oh, they said... They said he was vertical on that. I agree. He went straight up. Roach got the ball. Roach. 19 to 14 right now. Five-point lead. And North Carolina State got to find some offense with DJ Burns on the bench. Oh, great pass. Mitchell laying it up. Good. Good pass by Filipowski. All right, Duke taking advantage because Burns went out. <coughs> Duke taking advantage because Burns went out. Middle, Middlebrook playing sorry defense. You would think he'd be able to move his feet better than Burns, but so is not the case. There's a reason why Burns started. He don't. All right, 21 to 14. Duke looking to stress his lead out. That's right, time out. I hope this is a close game, man. I hope this is not a blowout. I want good offense, too. <laughs> but that Tennessee-Purdue game was a good game. And thank all you guys coming through. This is Dixon Way, all about the eight sports talk. We give you live commentary on all our favorite sports teams. But right now, happy Easter, everybody. It's 21 to 14. Duke trying to extend the lead out. Seven point lead. Will the North Carolina State coach risk Burns getting his third foul? There's only five fouls in college, so will he risk it or is he out for the rest of the half? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. They got 14 points, and D.J. Burns Jr. has eight of them. So, Magic Man said, I hope it's a blowout. <laughs> All right, 707 left in the first half. There ain't that many, so we can just go ahead and let Jarvis talk. Somewhere in the hotel, someone is sleeping. <laughs> it dipped out on that kid, didn't it? And they slipped out of their clothes and said, whoop. Travel is better in the Airbnb. I don't know, man. He be having um, he and cameras in them Airbnbs. Shoot. Better be careful. Oh, so Alabama was down 13 to beat Clemson. Okay, that's what's up. So that's the second... SEC school to win the West region. And you know you're all the way out West, so that's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right. Middlebrook got it. Oh, way to jump it by DJ uh, Horn. Missed it, though. They just cannot find any offense. Great defense by Duke. 
And the struggles continue, man. Burns with a silly foul pretty much took himself out of the game, and Duke is taking advantage and taking full control of this game right now. They'll have the ball when we get back from timeout. Magic Man says, they lost without the big guy. Yeah, they really are. He's out. I mean, he really controls the offense, man. He dines people up. They got some good shooters, but they got to, you know, set shooters. Like catch and shoot. So Burns back them down. When the team start double teaming, he kick it out. And then they can hit open shots. That's how they dominated Duke in the NCAA tournament. I mean, in the ACC tournament. But now adjustment is, they're just going to let Filipowski get uh, worked. Because Filipowski can't check him. You know what I'm saying? So they're just like, all right, we're going to play one-on-one. -on -one. He going to make some. He going to miss some. But we're not leaving no open shooters. That's smart. But they know he's by far the best player on that team. Got the John Tay Murray on the commercial with Kawhi Leonard. The New Balance Stars. <laughs> Why is Shaq cleaning a... Oh. Because Home Depot is the sponsor of the Final Four. Okay. I got you. I was just wondering. All right, 14-21. We're back from commercial break, guys. Man, six minutes and 52 seconds left until halftime. North Carolina State looks lost without their big dude, DJ Burns Jr. And he's still out. We got to figure out who's going to generate the offense. All right, McClain got the ball. Good defense by uh, Horn. Pull up mid-range jumper. Missed it. Good defense. Horn's got the rebound. Horn looking. Ooh, cross up. Driving. Driving on Filipowski. Pass it out. Foul. Filipowski got two now. Uh-oh, that could be a change in the game. Filipowski now got two. O'Connell passing in. Give the DJ Horn. Floater, good. All right, that's one way to generate offense. 16-21. Five-point lead. Duke slowly walking the ball up. Six minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Pick and roll. Look and get the 25 Mitchell. Pass it out to uh, McClain. McClain got the ball. Step back. Get to Filipowski. He's swinging around. Give it to the Roach. The Roach is looking. Trying to get it down to Filipowski. The Roach, Euro step. Step through. Good. Good layup. That's what I'm talking about, man. Good layup, man. Hold up, we I'm coming in. All right, 23 to 16. NC State trying to find some way to generate multiple bags, baskets in a row. DJ Horn, give it up. Oh, who's number 14? Half spin. Shoot it. Missed it. Rebound by Mitchell. Give it up to Roach. Roach is scurrying around. 
get a Filipowski, pump fake, drive it, pass it out, give it a roach. No, nah, that ain't roach. That's roach. 23 to 16. Roach got the ball, got the switch he wanted. Roach looking, cross, give it out. McLean with a deep three, brick. Rebound by North Carolina State. All right. North Carolina State got it right now. Go around the pit. Look it. Hesitate. Drive. Get it blocked. Get it up out of there. Middlebrook. Pass it back to 14. 14 stutter. Give it up to Derrera. He shoot a mid-range jumper. Brick. All right. Freeze 1,500 ATL rise up says. What's up, fam? What up, fam? I see you, cuz. Welcome back to the stream. That sounded beautiful. Ooh, Middlebrook with a great block. That's a ball out of bounds. No, it's not. McConnell got the ball running up their back. McConnell, finger roll, layup, good. Uh-oh. All right, 18 to 23, five-point lead. What up, Breezy? I see you, fam. Welcome back to the stream. Timeout by Duke. Duke said, nah, nah, nah. Let's stop. Magic Man says... Breeze. Yeah, they were like, nah, nah, let's slow this down, man. Slow down. All right, 23 to 18. I was getting to that range of um what we were watching before. Breeze 1500 ATL rise up says. Maji K M A N. But then again, it was 21 to 23 in that game with Marquette and Duke. So this is a little bit better. But uh, I mean, it started off fast, but now. Woo! I definitely want to do the Alabama and UConn game. All right, man. The Duke Blue Devils are looking to advance to the Final Four without Coach K. The first time in their uh, school's history that they will advance to the Final Four without Coach K. This is how you make your own legacy and stop living, you know, under the shadow. But there's always going to be a shadow because it's Duke. And Mike Krzyzewski. But if you can go ahead and cut your own path and make it there, then yeah. That's what's up. Oh, man. It's been a long day. We watched the Braves versus uh, the Phillies. Phillies pulled it out. We got the dude named Bummer. We got a relief pitcher named Bummer. Bummer. He was a bummer today. He definitely was a bummer today. Ryan Gosling. I would like that dude as um I can see him as Cyclops. The Fall Guy. What is that like a movie of the TV show Fall Guy who was a stuntman? Really? We had ideals? I guess so. We'll pack a one for six from three, so they don't shoot too many threes. And surprisingly, Duke didn't shoot that many this game. The last game, they kept that other team in, Marquette, in because they shot so many and bricked them. All right, Duke got the ball. Looking. Pass it off. Pick on the Roach. Roach driving left. Jump step. Pass it out. McLean for three. Missed it. All right. O'Connell got the ball. Pull up for three in transition. Bricked it. Rebound by Derrera. Get out to DJ uh, Horn. He shoot a floater. Bricked it. 
Oh, way to rip it out of there with the rebound by Young. Oh, my God. He was down there butt naked. Young was wide open. They ain't seeing him. All right. McLean got the ball. McLean working on Middlebrook. McLean driving. Throwing it up. They called the foul. I didn't see that. I didn't see that foul call, but oh, well. Free throw good. Good free throw. All right, 24 to 18. Duke on top. In control of the game. All right, it's a risky move with Burns coming in. Three minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. I guess NC State feel like this game kind of slipping away. Here's why. Oh, he made it. All right, 25 to 18. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. All right, Burns backing him down. Pass it. Lay up. Good defense and block. Get it up out of here, man. Get that out of here. All right, pull up jumper by McLean. Miss it. Good rebound by Big Burns. O'Connell got the ball. O'Connell waiting for Burns. He's like, man, get down in the post, bro. We need you down in the post. I right, give it up. Looking. They shading. Oh, pull up mid-range jumper. Missed it. Get the rebound, bro. Magic oh, Man's way best. to dive on that ball. Duke taking silly rushed shots. Both teams, really, but yeah, Duke is taking some silly shots. All right, jump ball. Air possession goes to uh, NC State. All right. NC State with the ball. All right, Mitchell going to the um, bench. Filipowski up. Filipowski got two. Oh, great defense. Stewart trying to deny. Him. I didn't see Stewart play much, but great denial. All right, DJ Horn got it. Trying to get it down to Burns. Great front. Great front. They had two people on them, too. They had two people on the two, man. NC State got to find something outside of um, Big Burns getting it. They got to, man. Because dude defense is right now is swarming. All right. Is that Roach? Yeah, that's Roach. Roach almost lost it. Looking. Pull up mid-range jumper. Missed it. There you go, Magic Man. Another rush shot. No passing either. Just one-on-one -on -one with a short man trying to post up somebody. O'Connell, mid-range jumper. Missed it. Both teams is really like just going down. No passes. No ball movement. Just trying to shoot tough, contested shots over outstretched arms. Never a winning uh, proposition. McLean got the ball. Give it to Stewart. Stewart looking. Give it to Roach. Roach looking. Throwing the alley oop. Oh, got it. Stewart caught it. Almost came down and just put it up. All right, it's a nine point lead by the Duke Blue Devils. Duke got 27. North Carolina State got 18. Burns got the ball, but he too far away from the basket. Little pick and roll. Throw it up. Got fouled. And one. About time. NC State did something, man. About time.
All right, 20 and 27. NC State needed that in the worst way. Jaden Taylor trying to complete this three point conversion. NC State is a horrible free throw shooting team. I know that much. Hey, but it made it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That My bad. That was Marquette. Excuse me. That was Marquette. All right, Filipowski got the ball. All right, McLean got it. Give it to Roach. Roach. Scanning. Roach. Driving in the middle. What happened? Hmm, must be a loose ball foul or something. Oh, offensive foul. Yeah, he, he swam over. Yeah, he called offensive foul. He swam over. The ball is not moving around with Duke now. Everybody's trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. NC State should be in the bonus. Oh, no, they call on Filipowski with the elbow. That's three on Filipowski, right? They said turn on Filipowski. He didn't have the ball. That should be a foul. Yeah, foul on Filipowski. Oh, he got three. That's tough. Wow, that could cut that could be huge. All right, looking Burns in the post. Burns got young down there. Pull up mid-range jumper. Missed it. Good defense by Young. Way to stay in front of him. Better feet than what Filipowski just had. I tell you that on defense. 34 seconds left on the clock. Dude got the ball. Looking. Waiting. Bounce pass. All right, give it to Roach. Roach got it stolen. But 4.1 seconds on the clock. Dude got to get up the ball real quick. 17.9. On a, on a um, game cop. Right, There's a three point shot. He missed it. They got the offensive rebound, put it back up, missed it. Rebound by O'Connell. All right, NC State got it. Seven, six, five. O'Connell driving. Four. Euro step off his leg. Great defense. Good steal by McLean, knocking it off his leg. Duke ball. Magic Man says. Sloppy final six minutes for both teams. For real, for real. Yikes is the truth. Yikes is the absolute truth. But instead of sloppy offense, you can say. Great defense. Nah, bad offense. <laughs> Throw in a half court shot over the backboard. And that's the end of halftime, guys. Duke 27, North Carolina State 21. Magic Man says, LOL. I'm just saying, if you're a Duke Blue, um, Blue Devil fan, you just say, great defense. At least it was a little bit more scoring. I guess one more uh, three-point shot than the last game. Maybe these games, they don't want me to see no high-scoring, exciting game. That's all right. That's my picker. <laughs> oh, no, I'll wait for that commercial to go off. But we appreciate you guys uh, coming through. Duke is one half away from making it to the Final Four without Coach K. That's huge. That is huge. Because to be honest, man, you never want to be the man replacing the man. Stick Sauce Main says, hopefully they both pick it up in second half. Hopefully. Magic Man says, Duke has tricked NC State into playing a pickup game like they did with Houston. It's ugly basketball. It's very ugly basketball, man. But, hey, if Duke want to muck it up, then, hey, if they can win like that, muck it up. 
you you usually see a lot better execution out of Duke. You know what I'm saying? Give up a good pass for a better pass with Duke team, led by Mike Krzyzewski. This Duke team right here seemed kind of gutter. But, hey, they winning, so that's all that matters. That's all that matters. All right, we're at halftime, man. Let's look at the stats. There ain't going to be many stats. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a raid, too, man. Let's go ahead and do a raid, man. We do raids to uh bring positive energy throughout the YouTube universe. So, yeah. All right, let's go over here. Uh, mm. All right, let's go ahead and give JJ a raid. He about to start his stream. I'm light number 13. Yep, yep. All right, so let me put this link in the chat. Here you go. The Dixon Way says, link. There we go. So play by play with JJ. He's about to do the Toronto Raptors versus the Philadelphia 76ers. All right. Please go over there. All right. I'll go over there. Sticks of Maine with the raid. Appreciate you, Sticks of Maine. Thank you. Thank you. And me and uh me and JJ talking about um doing the simulcast for the Braves versus um uh, Phillies. I was trying to get it together um prior to, but we just couldn't we just couldn't get together. We're gonna see if we can do it later on in the season. The messed up thing is we barely play each other this season. Breezy with the raid. That's what's up. Thank you, Breezy. Appreciate you guys participating in the raid. You guys are awesome. Hey, nobody told you were awesome today. I will. Awesome. And we need more awesome um, offense in this game, to be honest. That's the awesomeness we need. That's the awesomeness we need. All right. Thank you guys for participating in the raid. Let's get to these stats, man. Breeze 1500 ATL Rise Up says, Happy Easter to everyone. That's right. Happy Easter to you and everyone also. After a hot start, man, Burns got cold, but it's, I mean, he had to go out due to foul trouble. So he was pretty much hampered by that. I'm surprised NC State scored 21 points. But Burns, I mean, even when he started missing, he's still 50% from the field. He's four for eight with eight points. Ain't nobody else close to being double digits. That's a problem. And Derrera, I mean, he a cardio goat. You got O'Connell, one for five. DJ Horn out here gunning, two for nine. But he the second leading scorer. <laughs> so, yeah, this North Carolina State team, man, if you don't double them and stay home, they're not getting wide open shots, you know, because you're double teaming. They said, we're going to live with the results. So, Filipowski, if he dog you, you're just going to have to eat that, bro. It's going to hurt your draft status, but we're going to win the game. So, let's play to win the game. Middlebrook got one point off a free throw. Uh, 
Jay Taylor got three points. I mean, Duke only got one player in um, double figure. That's McLean. He's projected Joshua lottery Joshua Griggs picks. says, Happy Easter. The Dixon way. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, Joshua. How you doing, man? Welcome to the screen. It's time to be happy Easter to you also and your family. So, uh, look at this, man. They two for seven on threes. And made all their free throws, so that's good. Yeah, Duke done made all their free throws, but they two for seven for threes and 30% from the field. Like, this is some bad offense. I don't think it's a really good defense. It's some bad offense going on right now. And, and look at NC State. Pew. Look at NC State, man. They're shooting 26.5% from the field and 14% from three. They only made one three. They were one for seven. Man. Goodness gracious, man. Magic Man says, this offense is offensive. Gonna make me avoid either one of these teams advance. It's gonna make me avoid them. Who do, who do they play in the first round anyway? They play Purdue? Oh, Purdue gonna beat either one of these teams. Ain't now one of these teams going to beat Purdue, man. Because if Filipowski is getting bullied by this 6'9 center in Burns, he ain't got a chance against um, Edie. Is that Edie going to eat him alive? Joshua Griggs says, who do you want to win? I got no skin in this game, man. I just want to see a good game. You know? I would like some more offense, to be honest, but beggars can't be choosy. I just want to see a good competitive game. Right now it is, but it's very low scoring. Last game with Duke was the same way. Duke versus Houston. <laughs> what was that, 52 to... Yeah, that, that score, it was like 51 to 56. Look like we're heading to that same type of score. They started off real hot and then just petered out, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, NC State, you got to look at this. And, and to be honest, I'm going to be honest, man. You shot 26% in the half and, what, 14% from three? And you're only down by six. I'll take that. Reverse psychology. I'll take that. All you tell them, like, look, man, all we got to shoot is 40%, and we'll be winning this game. Guys, we're literally shooting 26% from the field in this game, and we're only down by six. We should be down by 20 right now, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, if I'm North Carolina State, that's how I'm spending it. I'm going to come in there and be stern. I'm like, guys, we got to move the basketball. We got to find um, better shots because we're shooting an abysmal 20, what, 26% from the field. It's okay. You know, three-point shots don't come. Ain't no way we should be shooting 26% from the field. Oh, yeah, they're showing the highlights of Zach Eady. He was just beasting the boy. They had nothing for him, man. Oh, a step under? Okay. Showing all the Eady highlights. And then he had the clinching block. His mom is so short. <laughs> I 
All right, so Purdue plays a winner out of this game. Yeah, I think Purdue going to blow anybody. Either one of these teams, he's going to blow they going to blow their backs out. Hey, yo, Zach Eady had 40 points. The rest of the team had 32 points. Look, I ain't going to lie, man. If he around in the second round, the Hawks better draft him. I don't care. Everybody calling him Boban. Uh, I see more offensive um, skill than Boban from him. I really like the kid Kingler, Kinglin out of um, UConn. He's 7 2, 7 1, and moves much better. Defensively, he gets out there. He gets the running, catch alley oops, got a little free throw hook. Yeah, got some solid low post moves. Yeah, I like that kid. And can catch a lot. I like that kid a lot. Now, if you want to wear out of, um, out of Indiana, you can. But we already got JJ. That's the type of player we have or draft if you don't have JJ. Or if you get rid of Trey Young, then go get that dude because him and JJ will be fighting to be the number one and number two player on this team. But, yeah, we if we draft uh, where... We're going to stun his growth because he needs to be a number one option on somebody, um, young team, like Detroit or something like that. Just my opinion. All right, man, this is a long halftime show, man. Get back to it. Somebody care about Chuck and um what Chuck and Oh they got Chuck Ernie and um Kenny up here, but Kenny ain't running to the board. He said no, nah, I only do that for um for TNT NBA. All right, Ernie look like they taking us back to the all right, good man. Come on, man. Come on, get back to the game. And this is the last matchup. Before we know who's in our final four. All right, let's go, man. All right, we got a timeout right now. All right, so if you guys think Duke is going to win this game, put a one in the chat. If you think North Carolina State is going to come back and Cinderella is going to keep dancing, put a two in the chat. Magic Man says one. All right. Well, Jameson Taylor says that. that Braves game was close. It was close, man. Unfortunately, the Braves lost. To a bummer. Jameson Taylor says, hey, Magic. A bummer. He was a bummer. <laughs> Horizon American Saga. By Kevin Cosner. Okay. Breeze 1500 ATL Rise Up says, one. All right, so Breeze saying Duke going to win also. Yeah, I got a feeling Duke going to, Duke been mucking it up, you know what I'm saying? Make it sloppy, nasty. It's a real old school basketball. Definitely not the highly skilled team that I'm normally used to seeing. With Duke. Well, it's a new era now. And he made the uh, Final Four within the second year of him being the head coach. That'd be pretty special. Come on, man. 
extra long half times. All right, here we go. I see the road. Oh, there's from the point hosted by Trey Young. Another advertising about my point guard. Let's go, Trey. Matter of fact, I'd be one of the last few times I get to play that. Might have to take it off my soundboard. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, the Hawks could have won five in a row if it were not for our coach last night. Coach Quinn, the sixth man, as Magic Man said, Coach Quinn was the sixth man for the six for the uh, Bucks last night. I think we got the Bulls tomorrow. Huge game for the Atlanta Hawks. Huge game for the Atlanta Hawks. Play in implications. As the Atlanta Hawks are trying to walk them down and trying to get the nine seed. Right now, we're in the 10th spot. Trying to get the nine seed so we can host that first game. But we got to win two games regardless. Got to win two games. So. If we can host at least that 10 9 matchup, that would bode well. Last time we went to Chicago, we lost. So we definitely need to catch these dudes. I think we're one game behind them, but they own the tiebreaker, so we got to finish ahead of the Bulls. What did you guys eat for uh, Easter dinner? Or have you eaten yet? We usually eat early, so. Our dinners usually be Easter lunch or something like that. All right, here we go, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a long commercial break or halftime break, man. Get back to the action. I can see if the score was like 35 to 40 or something. But it's 27 to 21, man. Y'all really didn't have that much to talk about. Nor did I. <laughs> Barely anybody scored. I mean, look at this, man. 31% field goal percentage to 26. Reese 1,500 ATL rise up says. Ribeyes mac and cheese, potato salad, and garlic bread. Magic Man says. It was a really long halftime. It really was, man. It was really long. Like, they really didn't have much to talk about. They talk about the other games more than they talked about this one. They had two ha they had two commercial breaks when they came back to the desk. Magic and now they talk it to the main desk right also now. Also had Asian chicken salad. Oh, okay, yeah, Asian chicken salad. Okay, that's what's up. Breezy had a nice ribeye, mac and cheese, potato salad, and garlic bread. All right, that's what's up. That's atrocious, man. They are 5 and 18 right at the basket. That is atrocious. Magic Man says, LOL, that shot chart was ugly. Was it ugly? 
Filipowski got somebody in the post. Give it up to Mitchell. He's looking. He's driving. Pass it out. Parked it for three. Missed it. Rebound. By the round mound the rebound. <laughs> All right. Good rebound by Burns. Look like they're going to try to establish Burns again. It's a lot of standing around, man. The ball ain't moving. Brings Burns flashes to the post. ATL rise up says. Burns got it. Looking. Are you streaming tonight? Backing it down. Layup good. There you go, Burns. Am I streaming tonight? What do you mean tonight, uh, Breezy? I stream the um, Braves game, and I'm streaming this. That's about it. Breeze 1500 ATL Rise Up says, March Madness. Oh, no, this is the last game, man. Breeze everybody else in the Final Four. ATL Rise yeah. Up says, Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody else in the Final Four, man. Purdue just won. They played before this. So Purdue plays the winner in this game. I think it's going to be Connecticut and Purdue. All right, looking for Filipowski. All right, he got Burns on him. Use your quickness. A jab step. Good defense by Burns. Did fall for it. Layup good. Good layup by Filipowski. About time he did something. He was getting dominated in that matchup. All right, 29-23. DJ Horn giving down to Burns. Burns got him in the post. They double team. Oh, what a behind-the-head pass. But Derrera couldn't do nothing with it. McConnell wide over for three. Oh, my goodness, he hit the side of the backboard. What kind of mess is that? Duke saved the ball, passed it out. Proctor for three. Missed it. Philip Hoskin with an offensive rebound. Put it back up. Layup. Missed it. Mitchell got the ball. Throw it out. Good steal by Middlebrook. Going. Bounce pass. Give it to uh, DJ Horn. Lay it up good. Uh-oh. Here they come. 25 to 29. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. <laughs> sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. You right about that, Magic Man. This is like a street ball game for real. This is supposed to be organized basketball? This is organized basketball right here, right? Oh, that was O'Connell who got that steal. The coach said, calm down, man. Slow down. Why are we rushing? We let this team run out and get a um, fast break point. Turnover story. Six to three, North Carolina State. Got the Duke fans all up in there. Mitchell ain't going to shoot. That's how it burns on him. All right, Mitchell driving, passing it out. Give it up to... Uh, Ooh, that McLean. Ooh, nice little floater by McLean. <coughs> Excuse me. 31 to 25. Six point lead by the Duke Blue Devils. O'Connell got the ball. Filipowski getting thrown around like a child. Burns got it. Uh oh, y'all better double team. Burns walking him down. Looking. Put it up. And one. No, they ain't calling it. Big Burns. Big birds out here. Uh oh, don't let him cook. Let him cook. I'm coming Barbecue chicken cook alert. Let him cook. I just let him cook. Big birds starting off like he did at the beginning of the um, game. Mitchell out of control. Laying it up. Good. Oh, okay. He made that. He was kind of looking like a buttery bricks, but he actually made it. I'll take Burns over Buttery Bricks right now. I ain't going to lie. Derrera shooting a three. Missed another one. This dude, why is he shooting threes? He ain't made a shot yet. 33 to 27. One for nine from three. Two for 10 for three. Both of these teams can't shoot. <laughs> All right, laying it up. Missed it. 
Burns with the rebound. Just quickly scored him out of that. McConnell got the ball. O'Connell looking. Cross. Wait for Burns. He's like, I got to wait for big man. I need a pick from him. Oh, yeah. That's a big pick right there. Oh, pass it up. Uh, Darrell with a dump. About time he did something. Great ball movement. Now, that's what you do. Down by four. North Carolina State trying to cook up. I'm coming in. All right. Proctor got the ball. Proctor backing down uh, O'Connell. Going around the pit. Looking. Get up to Mitchell. Mitchell got it. Step underneath. Lay up. Got the foul. Burns had his hands up. Boo to the rest. The rest trying to take out the only offensive option. Magic Man says. Burns gonna foul out. Yeah, he might. He just had his hands up, man. That dude that threw his threw his body into him like buttery bricks. Drew the foul. I don't agree with that at all. Burns had his feet. He didn't jump. Well, he can't jump. So he didn't jump and leave his feet, and he had his hands straight up. What what are you else supposed to do? Hit him with the belly? Maybe his belly fouled him. I don't know. If Burns go out of this game right now, it's only 5,000 college, man. He got three now. If Burns go out of this game, they, NC State ain't got a hope. Because he dominating uh, Filipowski. But again, keep attacking him. Now, I think you can really attack him and... uh. He really ain't going to get no resistance because he got to stay in the game. He has to stay in the game. Why would Joel Embiid? <laughs> Cat Williams told him. All right. 33 to 29 right now. NC State trying to come on a comeback. Thank all you guys coming through. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A-Sports Talk. We give you live commentary. All our favorite sports teams, the Braves, the Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, even my wife Gator. Right now, we got Duke Blue Devils versus the North Carolina State Wolfpack. One's in Raleigh, one's in Durham. The Basketball Triangle. Don't know nothing about that show. The mass is about to come up. April 13th and 14th. Huh? Oh yeah, they're doing the they're doing Saturday and Sunday. That's right. On Thursday and Friday, come on ESPN. I forgot. Vern Lundquist and Bill Rafferty. <laughs> I love Quest. Got different hair. All right. Mitchell going to the free throw line. First one up. Oh, he's <laughs> he breaked that one. Looked like a good foul to me now. Uh-oh, and Burns went out. Uh-oh. And the second one up, and he missed it. O'Connell, the smallest man out there, got the rebound. O'Connell got it. Looking to start the offense. Give it up to Middlebrook. Middlebrook looking. Hand it off. Who's number 14 anyway? Driving. Hesitate. Get cut off. Good defense by Duke. Give it to Middlebrook. Middlebrook, give it to O'Connell. He come around the pit. Give it to Middlebrook. Pass it out. Wide over. Derrera got to make one, right? Nope. Tap back in. Good by number 14. Wow, way to get inside position. 
box them out, tap it in, good. Casey Morsell, that's who it was. Casey Morsell. All right. Uh, Filipowski got the ball, spin move, laying it up, missed it, but drew the foul. Looked like he was out of control, too. Hey, man, it's only a two-point lead by Duke. Duke only got a two-point lead. Filipowski going to the free throw line. Better make these. Cal Filipowski, two for seven. Made the first free throw. Got eight rebounds, though. Good on the rebound. But again, man, I was not drafting this kid in the top 10. I'm sorry. Nope. The bad part is the Hawks got an affinity for Duke players. A.J. Griffin, Jalen Johnson. Please don't make Kyle Filipowski the third. Please don't. All right, 35 to 31. Pass it over there. D.J. Horn got it. Tricky dribble. Looking, got a man wide open over there. Didn't want to pass to him. Oh, yeah, that was uh, Derrera. I wouldn't pass to him either. All right. You know, Marcel. Marcel got the ball looking. Driving. Marcel just lost it. Just dribbled the ball, and the ball left his hand. Wow. What a horrible turnover. Womp, womp. All right, 35 to 31. Duke got the ball. Roach got it. Roach. Looking for a pick. Got it. Got the switch with Derrera. They're looking to try to get Cal Filipowski the ball. He ain't fighting to get position, though. He just let it happen. All right, Proctor got it. Cross. Proctor looking. Cross. Pull up. Jumper. Missed it. Rebound by Derrera. At least he can do that. All right, pass it over. Go over there to DJ Horn with a three. Bang! Uh-oh! I'm coming in. My bad. His name is DJ, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. His name DJ down by one. Who's ball foul in the paint? Actually, I should only give that to DJ Burns since he's the best player on the team. The DJ Horn, he dribbled a lot. But they needed that three pointer badly. One point lead by the blue by the Duke Blue Devils. Back and forth they go in a very low-scoring game. And as a foul, an uh, off-ball foul before he inbound, what a horrible foul about uh, Middlebrook. What a horrible foul by Middlebrook. All right, to get in, pass it in, three-point shot, air ball. Middlebrook, get it out there. Pass it. Give it a horn. Horn driving. Scoop. Layup got foul. Going to the free throw line. Shooting two. Okay. Back and forth they go. All right. Got to make these free throws, young man. Duke has hit a little slump right now. NC State with Burns on the bench is making a comeback. All right, first free throw up, first free throw, good. It's tied up, 35-35. Sticks off, Main says. What sport are we watching? I don't know, man. Basketball misses with rugby right now. <laughs> I appreciate y'all sticking around and watching. DJ Horn had five points in the first half, six now. So him... So both DJs, the only one that can score on this team. Free throw, free throw, good. And uh, North Carolina State, Wolfpack got the lead now, 36 to 35. Almost halfway through the second half. Oh, my goodness. Back to back defensive slobber knockers. Filipowski trying to post up Derrera. Filipowski, pump fake, looking. Oh, bows up, lay it up, and one, and then he flexing on him. He flexed up on him. Hold on, let me give you a knuck if you buck. And 
that one. Still don't trust him, though. Still don't trust him. You ain't Christian Leitner, dude. Christian Leitner had moves down there. Uh-oh. Now Derrera got a uh, foul trouble. I right, had Big Burns in there. Big Burns said, let me come in here and handle this dude, man. Free throw good. All right. Great three-point play by Filipowski. Two-point lead by the Duke Blue Devils. All right, DJ Horn got it. Give it up. All right, give it to Burns. Big Burns backing him down. Big Burns looking. He tried to pull the chair. Great job, but no, he was holding him too. That's what you got to do with a big dude like that. You got to pull the chair, move out the way, and let him stumble and, and walk. You got to pull the chair sometime. Foul on Young. They don't switch. They don't want Filipowski on them no more. They say, Young, you can get this work. All right. Now he backing them out, backing them down, spin, put it up. Bang! I told y'all that kid good, Magic man. He's skilled. Says, Team struggling to reach 40 points in the Elite Eight. Let nonsense. him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook. DJ Burns with 14 points. Filipowski got the ball. Oh, that's an offensive foul. You straight elbow that guy in the chest. Way to take that charge. Straight elbowed him. Yep. Yeah, Mega Man. Yeah, Magic Man. That is true, though. Yeah, these dudes struggling to get 40 points. <laughs> Almost uh, halfway through the end of the game. Derrera got four and Burns got three. Filipowski got three, and Blake's got three. Boy, some key players with uh, foul trouble right now. All right, looking. Get up to um, DJ Horn. DJ Horn got the ball. Looking, driving. Floater game. Hit it. Uh-oh. Oh, let him cook. Let him cook. Two-point lead by North Carolina State. Time out by let Duke him. Blue Devils. DJ Horn and DJ Burns, the battle of the DJs. Leading NC State. Wow. Blue Duke, uh, Duke just let go of the rope, didn't it? Coach K gonna come over there and push this dude out of the way. I got this. I got this. Come on, guys. Let's get it. Move your effing butts. Move the ball. Stop trying to ISO. That's what Coach K would say. <laughs> How y'all like my Coach K um, impersonation? Is it spot on? I didn't curse enough, actually. But Coach K be cursing up a storm. Cursing like a sailor. Sticks off main says, Coach K probably turned off his TV. Oh, Lord. Coach K turned his TV off, Sticks of Main. That's crazy. That's crazy. I would think Coach K would be there, you know? I mean, he's still a part of the school. I think Coach K is there. Maybe in a booth. I think he's there. But then again, if he was there, they would have showed him on TV, actually. So, no, nah, he ain't there. So if he was there, the camera would have found him. Thank you guys for coming in, man. This is Dixon Way, all about the A Sports Talk. We got Duke versus North Carolina State ACC battle. North Carolina State just beat them in the ACC tournament. Now they're trying to beat them again. 
North Carolina State had to win five games in the ACC tournament just to qualify. They won the ACC tournament, was put as the 11th seed, and still Cinderella is tap dancing all the way down the street. Not the street, but the street. And you got the two DJs powering the Wolfpack. You got DJ Horn and DJ Burn. You got a little itty bitty one, and you got a large size one. <laughs> and both of them hooping. Yo, Zach Eady so tall, he didn't even need to get on a ladder to cut down uh, the nets. That's crazy. He literally just stared there and said, click, clip. Purdue plays the winner in this game. Purdue going to dust whoever play, whoever they play. All right, Duke got the ball. Roach. Roach trying to uh, run a play, Roach. Give it over there to McClain. Give it to Filipowski in the post. All right, Filipowski. Look at pump fake. Trying to draw. Throw it into it. Nope, good defense by Burns. Now nah, he tried to throw his body into him and flail. It's like, no, nah, you're not getting me out of the game, bro. Nope. But I'm about to get you out of the game. Look at Burns just walking down like barbecue chicken. Look at Burns right at the top at the free throw line. Give him the ball, man. All right, Burns looking. They got Young on him. Young looking. Y'all better double team, spin, hook, bang. Let him cook. Go, DJ. That my DJ. DJ Burns out there babying them dudes. All right, Roach got the ball. Roach, looking, driving. Oh, reverse layup, but he missed it. Out of bounds. Ball out on DJ. Um, What's the other DJ? Oh, they talking. Look at this spin move. Hook to the baseline with touch. I told you that kid was, was skilled, man. I'm telling you, that kid is skilled. And Duke, Duke is down by four right now. TV timeout. Duke better wake up. They had plenty of opportunities to blow this um, lead out. And Duke been stuck on 30, 38, man. They've been stuck in the 30s. Like, they got to the 30s before uh, North Carolina State did, but North Carolina State done walked them down and took the lead. Breeze 1500 ATL Rise Up says, putting the baby to sleep, you saw that Larry. I saw it, he said. Baby, rock him to sleep. He did. Straight said the baby going to sleep. All right, let's see uh, if Duke going to have some fight. Fight back. Fight back. And the one, um, the other center, Derrera, who's been bricking all the time, it's actually a good thing now that he left out. He ain't shooting no wide open bricks no more. That's why um, Duke took the lead. That dude can't score worth nothing. He like Clint Capella out there, but he actually trying to take threes, which is a problem within itself. <laughs> Magic Man says, the finals is basically Purdue vs. UConn. They are the only two teams that can score. Yeah, true. True. Well, we'll see, man. Alabama guys, Alabama been uh, rolling in the in the tournament, but yeah, they really ain't got enough for Edie, man. Edie is just a walking bucket. I know he don't fit today's game. I really feel with all these um, hundred ATL rise up says. I tried to watch the UFL, but I couldn't get into it. I was watching, man. Shout out to uh, Rhino, man. I was watching with Rhino. I was pretty much majority of the game uh, 
Well, I did the first half until we came on with that first game he um, did. Yeah. It wasn't bad, man. I mean, it ain't NFL, but I mean, it wasn't bad. All right, Filipowski got the ball. Give it to Roach. Roach scurrying around. He's looking for a loose ball foul. Ain't get it, Roach. Looking. Breeze Pump 1, fake. Throw it up. ATL Missed rise it. Up says. Trying to go for the rebound. The is too slow. Yeah, pace is kind of slow because they be wanting the camera and everything. The referees talking to the camera. Coaches talking to the camera. Players talking to the camera. Uh oh, DJ, good block. Oh, Sticks but they got the says, offensive rebound. Middleton, Middlebrook got it. Kicked a 64 yard FG for the win. Oh, wow. I didn't see that. That's amazing. All right, double team on DJ Horn. DJ Horn looking, over dribbling. DJ Horn still got the ball. Bounce pads, give it to Middlebrook. Middlebrook got foul. Going to the free throw line. Shooting two. All right. I thought he was over dribbling, but he found the man. Magic Man says, UFL, unwatchable football league. <laughs> I will see, man. I think they compile all the best talent from both, uh, you know, the USFL and the XFL. I think they're going to have a better product this season. I think so. But you're a fool, Magic Man. Breeze 1500 ATL Rise Up says, Maji KMAN. All right, it's 43 to 38. Uh oh. Nine minutes and 49 Magic seconds on the clock. UFL has three teams from Texas. What's there to care about? Uh, well, that was about fan bases. They basically took the eight best fan bases out of both um, leagues. That's what they did. So Birmingham, you know what I'm saying, San Antonio, Arlington, and, and another, you know, team in Texas. And yeah, that's all they did. The teams that actually had, like, uh, attendance so they could play in different stadiums. Stick Soft Main says. So, yeah. They get paid 66K for 12 game season. Just dudes hoping to get in NFL. Exactly. Exactly. Like two of the wide receivers for the Renegades, I think, are now in the NFL. So it can happen. Roach with a layup. They needed that. Four point lead by NC State. Burns, both DJs got 30 points. The rest of the other uh, NC State got 14 points. And DJ Burns got the ball right now, looking, spinning. Got a bad day, double team. Put up the hook. Bang with touch. Go, DJ. DJ Burns out there hitting the baby hooks over two people. That left is dangerous, bro. All right, Roach got the ball. Roach looking. Hit it down there to Young. Oh, he walked. Oh, no, no, no. They call a foul. They call a foul. Okay. Or did they call walk? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, he did walk. He walked. Yeah, he walked. Yeah, he did walk. Good defense by O'Connell. All right, 46 to 40. Eight minutes and 36 seconds left in the game. O'Connell got the ball. They looking to give it to Big Burns. Get in the post, Big Burns. Oh, he driving. Ooh, pull up the... Oh! Alex McCutcheon says... Uh-oh. There go another DJ. What's up? Stick soft main says. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah, both of the hey man. They got both DJs rolling right now. Both DJs are rolling right now. Man, 
And thank you guys for coming in. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A Sports Talk. We give you live commentary, all our favorite sports teams. The Braves, the Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, even my wife Gator. Right now, NC State will pack up by eight. And why does an eight-point lead feel like a 15-point lead? Duke better get it together. But right now, Big Burns is beasting on these guys. He not going to be able to do that to Edie. Edie just too tall. He way too tall. And he not going to outweigh him either. Because Edie about 300 pounds himself. He like 7'4", about 280 or something like that. 280, 300. So, yeah. You're not going to be able to bully him. So, guys, I need to ask again. It was a lot of ones in the chat before. So, who do you think going to win? Do you think that Duke is going to win? Or do you think that NC State's going to win? Put a one in the chat for Duke. Put a two in the chat for NC State. Stick sauce main says two. I right, stick some main said two. So, DJ Horn is a grad transfer. O'Connell is a grad transfer. Casey Marcel is. And Burns is a graduate. So, Burns is the only one that actually went to that school initially. So, this, this whole team is a transfer portal, basically. All right, it's 48 to uh, 40. Ball out of bounds. Good defense. Duke still retains the ball, though. Possession. All right, looking. McLean, give it up to Filipowski. He driving. Throw it up. Shot clock violation. No, 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 no. Not shot clock violation. Did they call a foul? Oh, yeah, on Middlebrook. Middlebrook foul. No, he didn't touch it. He just lost the ball. Sure, from the beginning, it hit the shot clock. I thought that's just a violation if it hit the shot clock. They're not going to review that? Interesting. Oh, yeah, that was a foul. That definitely was a foul, yeah. A technical Oh, wow, they call it technical foul. On the coach. Coach coach got a technical. Oh, wow. In a high-impact game like that. All right, two free throws and the ball. All right, that's very fortunate for Duke. Stick soft, main says. Coach got a T. Yeah, he got a T. He did get a T. Stick some main. Oh, bad, bad shot, but they got the ball. Pull up, Proctor missed it. Out of bounds on Duke. Duke had Magic two. Man says, that was a foul on Duke, not Grim Mace. Yeah, I don't think that, yeah. He Magic looked like Man he says, jumped into him. 
coach should have snapped. He did snap. That's why he got a tentacle. That wasn't that wasn't a foul on him, man. They trying to get him out the game. They want Duke versus Purdue, man. That's not right, man. Let these kids play. Don't do that. All right. DJ Burns got a double team and pass it out, swinging around. All right. DJ Horn got the ball, got foul, pull up jumper, missed it. Wow, he pushed him in the air. Okay, whatever. Roach got the ball. Roach looking. I mean, we saw Stanford get cheated of a phantom call. Good defense by Middlebrook. Pass it up. Look at the push. Pass in the corner. O'Connell for three. Bang! Oh! Uh oh! I'm coming in. Nine point lead. Seven minutes and two seconds left in the game. North Carolina State with it. Wow. What is going on? What's going on? Are they going to review that? Oh, so they're going to see if there was a foul on the fast break before the shot. Oh, it was. It was. That was a clipping foul right there. Just barely stepped on his foot. But it was a foul. You might take that away. And wow, with so many three-pointers not hit today, that is going to be a huge foul. How many fouls does Middlebrook have also? Let me go check this out, man. There's so many people with fouls in this game. Yeah, they're going to call that foul, in my opinion. They're going to call that foul. Stick soft main says, I hate replay. Somehow we survived without it years ago. For real, for real. Wow, that took the momentum all out of the game, man. Wow. Did they overturn it? No, because it's still a nine-point lead. Wow. All right, Burns said, that's all right. I'll take it. Spin move. Land it up. And one. Big Burns. Go, DJ. Big DJ. DJ Burns. Cooking down there, man. Duke ain't got nobody for Burns. Wow. That's pretty sad. They won't even put Filipowski on him. They got this dude young on him. That's super barbecue chicken with extra sauce. Goodness gracious. All right, man, 53 to 42, 11 point lead by North Carolina State. These are crucial free throws. Good free throw by Filipowski. All right, um, a 10 point lead by North Carolina State. Six minutes and 41 seconds left in the game. Don't it feel like that Duke just don't have enough time to come back? They're going to have to start trapping on the inbound. Free throws good. Yeah, they're going to have to do a, a full court press. Yep, here it comes. Man, I be knowing stuff, right? Pass it up. Yeah, don't don't even shoot a quick shot. Yeah. They're going to have to earn every basket to try to scroll on me. I'm running the clock. Give it to Burns. Burns got the ball full of steam. Try to take a charge. Nope. Block it foul. Nope. He jumped sideways. He was like, nope, I jumped sideways. 
Look at it. He was like, nope, I'm just going to jump sideways and you were still moving. That's a brave dude, Roach. Roach going to get squashed <laughs> in the way of Big Burns like that, Big DJ Burns. Got 12 points in the second half. Just straight cooking these dudes. First free throw, pure. Man, that kid got, I told you he was skilled, Magic Man. They talking about Filipowski is going to be a top 10 pick. Not in, the Hawks better not draft that dude. I know that much. I ain't saying I want Burns. But I definitely don't want Filipowski. And he missed a free throw. That's all right. But they up by 10. 54 to 44. Duke. Roach. Driving. Roach. Stop. Give it up. McLean. Shoot a three. Missed it. Going fight for the rebound. Good rebound by 13. Stewart. Filipowski with a three. He bricked it. Going out of bounds. Say that Filipowski got it. All right, Roach. Roach looking, driving, laying it up. Nope. Good defense. The ball scrambling around. Oh, Burns couldn't grab it. All right. Let's go. All right, three-point shot by Filipowski. And he missed it. Filipowski looking for a foul. About to get a technical foul. No, they're not. They're not going to get him a technical foul. All right, 54 to 44. North Carolina State on top. Magic Man says, Duke getting beat by the human Big Mac. Hey, man, I, I told you that kid was skilled, man. You ain't want to believe me. Just because he big don't mean he ain't skilled, bro. They got nothing for him. Nothing. They looking to try to get to him, too. Look at that zone, man. Oh, pull up the three. Off the front rim, missed it. Who ball is? Filipowski knocked it out. Filipowski better calm down before he get a technical. NC State got the ball. 20 more seconds on the shot clock. Wow. Yeah, that's out on you, Filipowski. Yeah, you knocked the ball out of his hand. You definitely knocked the ball out of his hand. All right, North Carolina State trying to inbound the ball. Duke need a turnover right here, right now, and they need a bucket. Man, you can't reach around says, Burns. That dude about to lose it. Yeah, he is. All right, Burns got the ball. Y'all better send a double team now. Oh, they pass it in. Layup good. DJ Horn. Oh, my goodness. Oh, DJ's cooking up. 12 point lead. Duke falling apart. Duke is falling apart. Rhodes laying it up. Good block by uh, Middlebrook. Uh, put up the three by Proctor. Oh, and Filipowski. Filipowski knocked the man down. Filipowski about to lose control. He about to foul out the game. Duke has lost their composure. Yo, how you let that kid box you out, Filipowski? Because he had position on you. That's why. Wow. Duke is, Duke is choking it up. Oh, he did foul out. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you're not oh nah, bro. The Hawks better not draft that kid. They better not draft that kid. Duke is choking right now, bro. Wow. All right, North Carolina State, they make this man the game over. I don't I can't see them scoring um six. All right, they missed it though. I right, do still got a chance. They down by 12, but they need to hit a three. Something they couldn't hit all game. All right. Proctor looking, driving mid-range jumper. Missed it. Rebound by DJ Horn. He said, slow down. Wow. Yeah, he up out of there now, man. It's up to the rest of the team. Best player on Duke has fouled out. Give it up to DJ Horn. Got it. DJ Horn with a pick and roll with 
DJ Burns. DJ Burns looking. DJ Burns. Spin move. Floater game. Oh. Hey yo, he cooking him. Hey yo, let him cook, cook him. Let him cook now. Oh, lay up good. Cook. I mean, jumper good. I got let right. him good shot. Cook. <laughs> All right, they doing a full court press, trying to speed him up, trying to get a turnover too. Time out. Main says, sweet man, that dude DJ Burns, Magic Man is says, putting on a display. Joking. No lol. This is what Duke's done all year. Inconsistent play. Overhyped Roach. Just Duke being Duke. Yeah, but still. Filipowski supposed to be a defensive stopper down there. Well, no, he's more offensive. All right, let me stop that. He's more offensive. He's a balanced big. But, yeah, I see a lot of Hawks fans talking about they wanted Filipowski. I'm like, nah, he ain't it, man. And this is the second time he's been dominated by Burns. First in the ACC tournament. And now in the NCAA tournament, so. Hmm. So. I. Well, yeah, I mean, they do have eight losses, so. But I'm just surprised that they will lose to this game this team again, considering that they lost to them in the ACC tournament. I thought that they would have made adjustments to be able to be, because it's just a one-man show, to be honest. I mean, the other DJ is all right, but it's really all, everything flows through Burns, man. I thought that they would be able to adjust and play good enough defense. So, yeah, Marquette couldn't have beat this team either, man. Like, they literally just don't have anybody to stop Burns. He's just cooking everybody who's on him. Floaters, baby hooks, up and unders. Like, they got nobody to guard this dude. But he ain't going to be able to do that against Purdue. He not. Now, he might have the foot speed advantage against um, Edie. Or they might be at a standstill. But offensively, he's not going to be able to do that against Edie. Edie's going to be too tall. He's too tall to get that off. If he spin bomb and blow bomb, Edie with his um length and his reach will come back and block that shot because he ain't dunking nothing. If you're not dunking, you're not making no layup on Edie, man. You're not. Unless you're fast and you blow past him before he can get to the spot. But he, if he know where you're going, that's swatted, man. It's straight swatted. So the way he play, he's not going to be able to take advantage of Edie like that. Not in my opinion. You're not going to be able to get that baby hook off. Because unlike regular people, that's a little bit taller than him. You're trying to shoot that over a 7'4", dude. That's totally different. But yeah, 46-58, uh, to 58, North Carolina State Wolfpack are on top right now. Wow. Got DJ Burns down in the paint dancing. Inbounds, good defense. All right. Y'all got to get the ball across the line. Yeah, what y'all doing? Pass it up, give it to Burns. He lay it up. Good block. Go 10. Nope. Go 10. If you hit it off the uh, bat boy, if it touched the bat boy first, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it touched. Yeah, it touched the bat boy. Touch the backboard first. It's close, though. It's definitely close. Yeah, it just hit the backboard, man. It just hit the backboard. They're going to review that, though. That's close. I think it's too close to overturn, man. Right now, it's 60 to 46. Duke need this in the worst way, man. It's three minutes and 44 seconds left on the clock. Technically, man, NC State don't even need to score anymore, to be honest. 
Oh, no, no. He blocked it. It looked like he blocked it. He might have blocked it. Hold on. Oh, that's so close, man. That is so close, bro. I don't know, man. I think he blocked it. I think that's a clean block by Stewart. That's a clean block. It's so close, though. That's the only problem, man. When you don't block, somebody can athletically chase you down and swat that crap. And they taking a long time on this because this could pretty much be the game right here, to be honest. This could pretty much be the game. And DJ Burns Jr. is dancing. <laughs> man, this is too close to uh, the call. What y'all think, man? Put a one in the chat if you think that was a clean block. Put a two in the chat if you think that was goaltender. It's so close, man. They still looking at it, bro. Hey, look, y'all taking so long. This is inconclusive evidence, man. You can't change it. One in the chat if you think it was a clean block. Two in the chat if you think it was goaltender. I can't tell. Stick sauce main says. One. All right, clean block. All right. It's close, man. It's, it, it's not enough evidence, man. They took that long and still talking about it. All right, so what did they rule, guy? What did they rule? Okay, so they said it was a clean block. Okay. Breeze 1500 ATL rise up says two. Well, they, they said it was a clean block, so. All right. I ain't mad at it. It was so close, I couldn't tell. All right, Roach got the ball. Roach looking. Y'all need a three. Yeah, pass it out. Driving. Scoop layup. Good. About time they attacked the basket. All right, looking. Pass it out. Get the trap. Pump fake. Pass it out. Swing it. You got to get across the line. There you go. Swing it down there to Burns. Burns give it up to Middlebrook. He laid up good. Bucket. All right, 62 to 48. NC State. No, 60. My bad. They took that one point off. All right. Uh, McLean, he just walked. Oh, they tapped the ball out of his hand. I thought he walked. Laid it up, out of control, missed it. No, he went in. All right, 50 to uh, 60. Two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Pressure, got to get the ball all the way up. He got it, hand it off. They're like, nah, we just going to walk this out. McConnell got the ball, 14 seconds on the shot clock. They still implementing the trap, trying to hurry him up. Connell pass all the way down, reverse layup, good. NC State is going crazy. 12 point lead. All right, driving, Roach, looking, got it blocked, get it up out of here. They called a foul. Duke is in a scramble right now, trying to speed up the game. North Carolina State is, is fine with sitting on that ball like an egg. They got a 12-point lead, and it feels like a 20-point lead, to be honest. Just 
Jamie Roach is uh, 86.2% from the free throw line this season. Bang. Switched it. Filipowski could only look on the sideline, disappointed and ditched and dejected. Definitely hurt his draft stop. All right, free throw up. And right around the end. Oh, he missed it. No, Roach. No, you're a clutch, bro. All right, McConnell passed it up. I'm like, yeah. And lose ball foul by Mitchell. Going to the free throw line, shooting too. Wow, the two DJs dominated this game. 62 to 51 right now. Oh no, Duke fan angry. Burns coming out of the game. They want ball handlers out there now. They don't want him to foul out either. DJ Horn, 81.1% from the free throw line this season. First one up. Round around, but he missed it though. All right, dude still got a chance. Two minutes and seven seconds on the clock. Just walk. They ain't call it. Roach got the ball. Blocking foul. Blocking foul. Yeah, you still was moving, bro. You still was moving. All right. Jeremy Rose back up to the free throw line. 86.2. What are you going to do? What you going to do about it? Magic Man says, there are so many one and done players, it's hard to care about college basketball. Yeah, unless you're like a part of the school. I do agree, man. Like, Magic College used to sense. have a lot of good players. College sports has become rent a center. <laughs> rent a center, yeah. For real. At least college football is better. Until the politics of the uh, committee come in, then it get all convoluted. You know. Pass it up. Give it up to Burns. Burns laying it up. And one! Say go, DJ. Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook. What a game by Burns, man. Burns could have kicked that out. He was like, nope, I'm taking this M1. M1. Stop playing with me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 25 points. 26 points. Burns just... That's was bully in the woods. Going to the final four, NC State. Cinderella slipper is still on. Cinderella. That's a big old Cinderella right there, boy. Boy, oh boy, that's a big Cinderella right there. All right. Oh, jump ball. I don't know who his little teammate was. It's about like 5'11 and 5'7. And he chest bumped. Breeze 1500 ATL Rise up says. Yeah, he do he look like his daddy. Like his dad. Magic Man says. Dude looks like he ate Cinderella. Oh. <laughs> he ate the pumpkin. That's all right. Hey, he hooping, man. They kicking hoop. Keep eating what you're eating, kid. They kicking hoop. Imagine if that kid, if that kid lose some weight, he's going to be dangerous, bro. He's going to be serious in the NBA. But right now, his weight is his detriment because he can't get up and down the court. That's that's the main thing with Edie. If Edie lost pounds and could get like lighter on his feet, that's why I like the kid Klingley, um better than him because he's like 7'7", seven seven 
but he got real, you know, like moves and Breeze 1580 oh, rise up says. We need him in ATL. Nah, 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 Breezy. No, no, no. He's six nine, man. He's six nine. Nah, they ain't gonna Breeze work. One thousand five hundred ATL rise up says. Bad. Nah, nah. I don't need Burns Jr. in Atlanta. I need Klingley. Magic Man says. LMAO. Mm mm. I need Klingley. Yeah, this is nice in college, but he gotta lose about. 30, 40 pounds before he be ready for the NBA. He's only a power for it. That he's not gonna work in the NBA as a small center, man. Now he's super skilled. He can get his own shot. But yeah, he definitely gotta, you know, he gotta get faster. He gotta get lighter to be able to play center. You know what I'm saying? In today's NBA. Cause out there, man, he's he ain't really run up the court. After they uh, play defense, he's jogging up the court, trying to conserve his energy. He used all that energy down there on the offensive end. Like, that kid can, he can fill it up offensively. But defensively, he's going to be a liability. And that's the only thing I worry about Edie. I think Edie could be dominant in the, in the league but offensively, but defensively, they're going to run his tongue out. Oh, got a, a bad pass. 11-point lead. Get it. Shoot a three. Miss it. Brick it. Breeze 1,500 ATL rise up says. What about the kid from North Carolina? You talking about Bangkok? Uh, Bangkok is good. I like his. I like his toughness. I'm saying we need that type of player. But again, he's 6'10". No, no, he's 6'11". I like him, but I like the kid out of Oregon better, man. Uh, Nafali Dante. I like him more, but I really like the kid Klingling. Five hundred ATL rise up says. I like um, yes. Klingling better than him, man. The center out of um, UConn, I like him much better than him, man. That kid right there reminds me of uh, Rudy Gobert, but he's actually like seven one and seven two, legit. Rudy Gobert is like six eleven. Rudy Gobert is like six eleven, six eleven and a half. But when you see Wimby stand up to a man, he looked much shorter than him. So, if I could get Kunga out there, man, that kid had like eight blocks in the NCAA tournament this season. Shot like 72% from the free throw line. So, he can shoot. If you can shoot at least 70%, that means that you could develop you know what I'm saying? A mid-range jumper. So, yeah. All right. And it's a 13-point lead by North Carolina State. They called a foul on uh, DJ Horn, a loose ball foul. The Duke coach going to be getting a call from Coach K. I promise you that. Jeremy Roach back up there. Jeremy Roach got Magic 12 Man points. Says, Cheers for the stream and the fun. No problem, man. Thank you for coming in and hanging out with us, uh, Magic Man, as always. Appreciate everything you do. All right. Uh, 67 to 55. Free throw up, free throw good. Loose ball foul on the rebound. A minute and 15 left on the clock. All right, Muhammad. Derrera is 66% from the uh, free throw this year, but he made his first one, switched it actually. Uh, second free throw, good. It missed it. All right. Duke, Roach got it. Roach, give it up. McLean shoot a three. 
Bang, good shot by McLean. Too little, too late, though. 10-point lead by North Carolina State. A minute and five seconds on the clock. Imagine, man. There was no way I thought both of these teams would have made it up. And this reminds me of the Houston game. Well, at least it was a little bit more scoring in the second half, though. Actually, a lot more. They only had 21 points in the first half. Oh, let's hide that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Uh, this is Dixon Way, all about the A Sports Talk. Uh, Elite Eight action. We got Duke versus North Carolina State. Maybe it's just me, man. Every game that I think we've only had one game that was really competitive, that was high scoring. You know what I'm saying? That was back and forth. That was the Oregon game. Other than that, man, these games have been like. They've been struggling offensively. Obviously, I didn't pick the right game. <laughs> I really didn't. We really didn't have a choice because you had the Braves playing early, so not missing the Braves game for the NCAA for teams that unrelated to my um, Atlanta-based teams. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to think about. I got to see what the schedule is because – if I got, like, Hawks and um, Braves coming on, then, of course, I'm doing those. All right, minute five seconds left on the clock. Ten-point lead by North Carolina State as they try to inbound the ball. Looking, pass it in. Trap. Good trap. Throw it across the middle. Almost got it. Dribbling it up. Looking, lay it up. Up, oh, burns. Lay up. And one. <laughs> he laughing, bro. He laughing at these dudes like, man, they barbecue chicken, man. Keep on cooking, young man. Keep cooking. Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. He should have fouled hard. He cookie y'all, man. And you know North Carolina State fans love that. That North Carolina triangle out there. Where all them guys, all those, you know, schools are within like 30, 40 miles of each other. <laughs> Reed said one one. Yeah, that was a dumb foul right there. Looking. Yo, McLean. McLean dribbled the ball right out of bounds and was looking for. He said he was out the man foot. Oh, well. They going to review it for what, man? The game is over. Don't review that. Why would you review that, man? This game is over. Why would you now see this is what take it too long? Okay, it did hit off his leg. It really don't matter, man. This game is over. Go and review it. I mean, man, let's let the game in at this point, man. I right, seriously. Y'all not coming back with no 49 seconds on the clock. Damn by 13. That ain't happening. Y'all would have to make threes and get turnovers instantly. It ain't happening. All right, Duke inbound the ball. They won the challenge. Pass it in. Shoot the three. Bang, good shot. All right, that's one three. Ten-point lead. You got to get a steal and a quick three. Nope, no steal. Bounce three pass. Three says. Looking. Cardiac kids still dancing. Yeah, they are. Pow. 
What's up, Three Dirty? I see you, fam. Welcome back to the stream. It's time for you. Appreciate you coming through. Yeah, it's pretty much over for Duke, man. Coach K is not happy with this. At all. 71 to 61. Are they in the double bonus? Free throw up. Yeah, they in the double bonus. Free throw good. And this team is full of transfer portals, man. Players. Wow. All right, free throw up, free throw good. All right, 73 to 61. Put up the three by McLean. Green's 1,500 ATL rise up says. I like the kid from North Carolina a lot. You talking about Bangkok? I like Durant better than him, man. Dur Durant got better skills. If you go look up uh, Nafali, Durant. That kid got skill. Martin Mitchell just fouled out with six points. Breeze 1,500 ATL rise up says. Yes. Now, I like Durant or uh, Klingler. Klingler better than him. I just do. But it's not like if he's there. I If there are three players there, I give Dante Klingler or... Bangkok there, I'm taking uh, Klingley. That's because I know I know what I'm going to get out of uh, Klingley. I'm going to get excellent defense, a run up the court. He's going to be a true rim protector. That's what we need. Uh, who's that? McLean shoot a three, hit one. All right, McLean trying to hit threes, uh, but it's too little too late. Looking, pass it out. They trying to trap. Throw it back around. Looking. Just dribble through. Throw it out. O'Connell got the ball. 13 seconds, man. It is what it is, man. Stop wasting these guys' time. And that's the end of the game. Cinderella is still dancing. Cinderella is still dancing. They going to the final four. They go into the final four. They foul. Congratulations to the North Carolina State Wolfpack. The only real Cinderella in there now, North Carolina State Wolfpack. It always happens, man. Thanks, Larry. No problem, man. Thank you guys for hanging around with this defensive, uh, offensive mess. But, hey, North Carolina State popped off in the second half. Wow, they scored 50 points in the second half. And that's the end of the game, man. North Carolina State going to the Final Four. We have our Final Four. Purdue. I mean, look. Well, Alabama's a... Alabama's a, a Cinderella too. So you got you got two powerhouses and two Cinderellas in the final four. Okay. I know one thing, the um the TV execs want UConn versus uh UConn versus Purdue. But NC State, Alabama trying to ruin the program. Yep, there you go. Well, Alabama's a four seed, so that's not really a, a Cinderella. NC State is a true Cinderella. Now, let's see how they handle all of the press and, you know, the pump and circumstance when they go back to the, when they go back to Raleigh. How are they going to handle Freeze that? 1,500 ATL rise up says. I enjoyed all the sports activities with the Dixon Way this weekend. Appreciate awesome. that, Breezy. Thank you, thank you. Always supporting the Dixon Way. Appreciate you, cuz. A big Burns right there. Big Burns just dominated. 29 points. Only missed six shots. 
just dominated them dudes. Oh, he was the South uh, region most outstanding player. Of course he was. Of course he was. He was the best player in that region. Fair point blank. He was. He played like it. Total domination. Wow, great game by the kid, man. Great game. On a bat. And let's see what happens when them kids got to go back, uh, back to campus and be big man on campus at NC State. Ooh, we. Them kids' life about to change right now. I mean, it's been since 1986 that they've been back to the Final Four, and it's been since 1983 since they won it. So winning for Jimmy V. All right. Well, thank you guys for enduring. We appreciate you guys coming through. We're about to get up out of here, man. Y'all have a blessed rest of your Easter. As always, peace up, A-Town Down, deuces. Later, man.